Are you frustrated and overwhelmed with the current growth of your business? Do you just want to help more people, but you don't know how to reach them? You could be lacking time or lacking information or lacking education. You have a service and you know that you can change the world, but you just know you need to get your service to the world to actually allow that to happen so you can make the impact you were born to create. You can have it all. You can have the career, you can have the family, you can have the lifestyle because that's yours for the taking. Don't let people tell you what you can't have in life because that's the last thing you want. statement about them is that was the situation if you heard the situation I just said then two staff were talking negatively about owners of a business they, they saw a message in between the two of them they shouldn't have seen the message in between the two of them the question was should I bring it up and how should I deal with it it's frustrating um, you've got to take ownership of it sometimes it's like okay what have I been doing that could have annoyed them rather than going into a victim mentality or um, you know a, you know frustration or denial or whatever thing I did nothing wrong whatsoever you have to take that ownership and go okay so if I could own this situation how could have I made them feel negative and how can I have made them feel frustrated at me so much that they message someone else and, and you know they talk and crap about us. Now, if you can own that and you can see, okay, this is where the communication has been incorrect with the staff member, then you can go, okay, fantastic. I can own that situation and then I can move forward. I think you touched on a really important thing though. Like it's, it's really easy to react because you've taken it personally. And I think that's the biggest part is most of the time it's because you've actually taken it personally. And the main thing you have to do from it is, from a leadership perspective, is like what Trav said, is take ownership and go, what did I do to create that environment, to create that feeling and assume that it's correct? Because that's the only way you can actually move forward. If you react to it, you're actually reacting from an emotive position, not, an, not a logical position, which in this instance, I would just go home, have a glass of wine, have a little bit of a bitch about it and then move on. That's not with them, with, with, with me. With partner, you know, with me. <laughs> <laughs> guys, See you guys. Peace out, yeah. Matthew. Yeah. Helped so much today. <laughs> <laughs> it was an easy one. Hey, hey, how you doing? Come on, mate. You gotta go. Did you get the food? Oh, yeah. I was like, I was like, I asked the boys. I'm like, did you see the food? And they're like, no. And then I messaged them. I was like, the food's not come, mate. Who's taking the food? It's really cool. Hey guys, Sam here from uh, Result Based Training in June Lap, assistant head coach. I've um, just gone through our second day's training with Coach H. I think it looks really good, man. I like it. Yeah. So How did you go last week, you think? <clears throat> it's actually really good. Perth is a very progressive group of guys. I really, really I think they, they, they have a very good setup. I went to John Dulap, I surprised mm. them. They didn't know I'm coming to John Dulap in the morning. Mm. I think that's the best thing, right? So like for us looking at making sure we can individualize the sale process. Yeah. So it's like, we can assess you, we can say you can't do these exercises, you can do these exercises, yeah. and this is your body fat, so this is your nutrition. So it's yeah. individualized process, right? Yeah. Um, what do you think, one thing we can improve? We can get it four weeks in advance, right? So they have four weeks to do the homework before the next one. You're not two Absolutely. months, right? So it's Absolutely. Like so the next one will be <clears throat> quite in depth in terms of the biomechanics as well. Perfect market for us. Well, I think for us, like the, the market for you, right, is like looking at this business and going, okay, we do one, we do a seminar in, like, for example, Malaysia, right? We yeah. go across, we do a seminar there, and we get some gym owners down. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we upsell it to a mentoring package for the gym. So you're not selling the individual, you sell, you sell the, gym. the group exactly. training gym, right? Yeah. So, thank you, bro. I appreciate well, it. Was a pleasure. That. I'm glad that you shared with the world that your missus is pregnant. Yeah. It's exciting. It's can't wait. <laughs> Thanks, man. See you, bro. Yeah. Now, I don't like this URL. So something advanced you can do is go to this quick thing called Bitly. You can write copy to change your landing pages, to do everything. So even if you, at the end of every day, get home at 6.30, yeah, and then you go, okay, from 6.30 to yeah, 7, yeah. I work on the CAS every day. <laughs> if you just went through that whole process with them, right? They're like, I just need, like, please, like, save me 
from everything that I'm problem. And like, I have no questions. It's like, I want to buy. If you go, oh, okay, I'm going to send you a, uh, you know, I'll send you a, uh, a bank account that you can transfer the money into. Then like they've gone home and they thought about it. They've gone out of the high that they're in. Okay. And the excitement that they're in, they've dropped down a couple of notches. And like, they start thinking about it. It's like, actually, maybe I should get another quote. You want to get them there and then when they're in the impulse of like, I was in pain. This person's giving me pleasure. Okay, buy now, it's an incentive. Okay, and then people jump across the line. You know, you guys, you know, essentially, uh, business owners, you guys should be marketing experts and sales experts at the same time, and experts in your technician. So, you guys should be reading a book a week if you can. If you're not a great reader, listen to an audio book a week and put it on two times speed. If you're driving between quotes, that's what you listen to. You don't listen to a Fox FM, right? If you, you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't be reading a book a week if you can read, okay? Um, hopefully you can all read. If not, there's a great course you can do. <laughs> 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 um, like, it, like reading a book a week, guys, is about 30 to 60 minutes a day. Knowledge is power. Okay, knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Like I've read, like, you know, Shane, we've coached over the years. It's like, I, like I try and when I have more time, I'll read a book a week, right? Um, and I've read, you know, so many books on sales that it's like pulling the parts together and then so many books on emotional intelligence so it's like combining that with that and then it's like so many books on like love languages and it's like and it's like, like human needs i can give you a list definitely like resources to go through but like for you guys it's like you just have to connect with the person and know that okay this objection if they said again it's about oh i can't afford the price the 997 like it's too expensive for example and it's like, okay, so what do you mean by it being too expensive? Okay, what do you mean? And it's like, well, it's just too expensive. And it's like, okay, so is it too expensive for 997 to completely change your life and, you know, change, what if they, it's like, you said you don't have confidence more, so is it 997 too expensive for your confidence? Is 997 too expensive for you to feel good about yourself? Is 997 too expensive for your happiness? Or is it just 997 is too expensive for the program? You have to clarify which one's the 997 too expensive for. I was like, oh, the program. I was like, okay, well, um, we're talk not talking about a specific program. We're talking about happiness. We're talking about confidence. We're talking about you know completely changing your life right now. So you're willing to pay 997 to do this? I was like, yeah, that's worth it. So like, okay, fantastic. And it's not it's not whether you're willing to buy it's the like program or not. It's are you willing to change your life or not, right? Because now it's not, it's not about buying your product, it's about them changing their life. I think one of the biggest things I see business owners making a mistake, and mis mistake I believe is this thing called familiarity. What's familiarity? Well, you, you, you're familiar with your surroundings and you, know, you set these goals that you think you can achieve. And it's like, stop setting fucking goals that you think you can achieve. Like your familiarity is with the income that you make every year. Uh, you know, I talk to these people and it's like, oh, I wanna make 100,000, I wanna make 200,000. And it's like, how much you currently making? And if they wanna make 100,000, it's like, oh, I'm making 75K. I'm like, fucking stretch yourself. Like make 500,000, make $1 million. And they're like, I couldn't make a million dollars. And it's like, why can't you make a million dollars? Okay, stop living your life based on your past achievements. And that's the biggest thing we fucking see a downfall in society. We live our life based on our past. Your past means fucking jack. What, to, what today brings is your future. So, okay, if nothing matters to the past, that's what my familiarity is. You know, I'm not a 75K person. I'm not even a 100K person. I'm a million dollar person. Okay, how do I live a million dollar life? Who has a million dollar life? Step one. You go and model success. Who do I know that has a million dollar or two million dollar life? And how can I learn? How can I learn from them as much as I can? What's the easiest way for me to grow my business to make a million dollars? Because guys, like that is number step one, number one. Two, what are the actions that I need to do each day that will make me a million dollar life? Now for yourself, if you have essentially a business that sells a product and the product is $3,000 or a service is $3,000 for your package. Now guys, you need 333 sales every single year or six sales a week every single week and you have a million dollar business. And it's like, okay, cool. So now I know a specific number of sales. If I make 0.8 sales a day, I have a million dollar life. Okay, how do I do that now? The quality of question gives you the quality of answer. You need two leads a day. 
two leads a day and you have a million dollar business because hopefully you close one in two and you only need 0.8 sales a day. So, okay, how do I get two leads a day? Now, this is it. You don't have to focus on the million dollars anymore. You don't have to focus on the sales anymore. You need to focus on getting hold of two leads every single day. And whether that be through Facebook marketing, Google AdWords, going out and talking to people, talking to your current clients and members and getting a referral, whatever that means, okay, to get two leads a day. You focus on two conversations a day to get one sale a day, and all of a sudden, you've built a million dollar business. And you know what? Now your familiarity has changed. You build a million dollar business and I'm going to fucking challenge you again. How do you build a $10 million one?